Well, Mickey, it's another, another long trip, isn't it? You know, two away trips in quick succession is, uh, is not easy, I suppose. No, but it is, it, it is what it is, and we, we will travel down there well, as well as we can, and again, not for any excuses, we, we, we're experienced at it now, yet yeah, it's not ideal, but we'll, we'll get on with it, and we'll, we'll go down there and, and give ourselves um, every opportunity to get the a result. I know you would have liked three points in midweek, but nevertheless, it was it's four points out of six now, and another clean sheet as well, so do you feel as though you're into your stride now, a bit? Yeah, and... and not not surprised. I, I you know it takes time, and they're still still going to take time to keep growing it. I think there's lots of potential in this group to keep getting better and better. I, I felt that when we first put them together, um, and all the all the, the the different things that would have to come together, it was going to take time, and it's still growing. And at times, it still might disappoint us, but that's that's what happens with young players. Um, so we, we just keep going now. I know the game is about scoring goals, but also about keeping them out as well. And that's mainly the work that coaches and managers do on the training ground. Does it give you a bit of extra satisfaction to see that the structure is right to, to be able to do that? Um, yeah, but it's only part of the game. No, I, w I wouldn't let ourselves off the hook and say that we don't work hard on the scoring goals side. No, we, we work very, very hard on that. And we want to score goals and we, we set up a team um, on Tuesday night to, to, to go and try and do that and we just weren't able to create that clear cut chance or, or take that half chance or create a chance for ourselves uh, as individuals to, uh, to, to break the deadlock so we, we again like I say we need to go and work hard on that again and we have and we'll speak about that and we'll, we'll look for the improvement over the next couple of days and then hopefully they'll, they'll bring it on Saturday. Yeah. When we spoke last week, the draw had been made for the Cup and, I, and I, I know that you were you were, you were trying not to think about Newcastle if you had games to play, but one more to do, haven't they, to get through and that's got to be your whole focus for you and the team. Yeah, of, of, of course, because we all know um, what a difficult game Saturday will be and then when Saturday's finished then we'll, we'll look at the next game. But of course, we, we, uh, we, uh, we, we tentatively working on um, the the next game through organisation and, and stuff like that and looking at scouting reports and all that kind of stuff but our main focus will be on Saturday because that's that becomes the most important game for us now. Players obviously want to play big games like that but uh, it can be an incentive as well to make sure that they play well enough in the game before that they're going to be able to be in contention for that one as well. Well I hope so, we, we would use anything that would potentially make them better or, or, or make them fight hard um, and, if, and if some of them want to use that as a, a motivation then great but the most important thing is, is that they focus on the performance on Saturday and, and fight for a, a, a value of three points. Newport have had a, a kind of a, a rough time of it at home but I just wonder whether it's still at that stage, I know some of it goes back to last season but whether it's still at that early stage of the season where teams uh, are not really in their true position. Yeah, there, there's that, but one thing I can guarantee is Newport will always be a difficult place to go and to get results. We, we've certainly found that over the years. We know that absolutely we'll need to be at our best. We'll need to be going and performing and doing a lot of the good stuff that we're doing on a training pitch and, and now moving that to the, 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 the match days. So we'll need to get, get in there with that mentality and get it right. And we, we know and the players will be told what a, what a tough game it will be, so we we'll need, we'll need to go and uh, deliver on that. And I know you've had a few injury concerns and you had injury concerns in the run-up to the Hartlepool game. Are you any any better off in that regard? Not really, no. No, there won't really be... There, there may be... Maybe one comes back into the group and um, we, we may lose one or two, but we'll give them every opportunity that of our next day or two to try and... Uh, get them back again, but that, that's nothing new. That, that's what happens over the course of a season, especially when things are getting busy when you're going Saturday, Tuesday. That, that would be expected. So it's just up to something else now in the group to come in and, and, and come and help us to keep trying to move forward. Thanks, Mickey. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, Mickey, how are you doing? I'm all okay, Krusty. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you say that the team enjoys playing Saturday, Tuesday, but when, you, when you've got two really long away trips in the space of a week, does it make it any more difficult for you guys? Of course it would, it would have factors in it, there would be easier ways to play the two games but you can't let it become an issue, you've just got to get good 
at getting yourself recovered and prepared for the next game. There's, there's definitely, of course, there's, there's, there would be a better way of playing the two games, but listen, we'll get on with it and we won't look for any excuses in it and we won't even allow it to come into my thinking. We go and play and, and go and attack it. We'll, we'll go down the, the, the day before, we'll be in a nice hotel, so we'll do everything that's, that's necessary in order to uh, get as best prepared. Yeah, of course, and obviously thinking back to last season, the away form was uh, a bit of an issue. And then on Tuesday, the Hartlepool game, you've mentioned to us several times about how this team is a work in progress. Was Tuesday's game sort of an example of that, the way that the experience sort of wasn't there to break down a team like Hartlepool? I think that when you put a group of players together and you put a new, uh, they play a new system, it's, it's, there's, there's nothing that anybody can say that... that, that that is any different. It's, it's going to take time. That's the thing that it's going to take. It's going to take time, and it's going to find find a way that this group works, and then it's going to have to be finding consistency in the qualities that this group will have. But it will take time, and then it will take us to to, to find that way, and then find the consistency of that. That's that's all we'll try and do. We'll try to get better at everything. We want to try and score goals, we want to try and keep clean sheets and then in between the two 18 yard boxes we want to get better at that. But, and we won't rest, we'll keep going and we'll keep going and just keep pushing the players to, to the, the limits and see where we can take it. And that's what it will be, that's what it will be until, until the, the end really. Yeah of course, and is it a case of like every game regardless of the result at the minute is sort of just another lesson in order to try and bring yourselves closer to what you envisage as the final product? <laughs> That's some question that. I think, <laughs> I think answering what I think that you mean is it, it's, going to, it's just going to take time. Yeah. The, uh, do you ever get to the end? I don't know. Do you ever get to where you're satisfied? I don't think that you do. I think even if you got there you'd be trying to make keep improving it all the time and I think that that's what it is. Then we just look at every game. The last game is the, the exam if you like of where we think we're at. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll try and improve on that for the next exam, which is the next game. And that's the best way to, to approach it. We've, there's things on Tuesday night that we're pleased with, things that we weren't, and things that we think we can improve on, and things that we think we're good at, but we'll just keep going. We'll just keep practicing it. We have the training sessions that are necessary to, to go and try and do that, and we'll just go through the, our catalogue of training sessions that we know that improve the players. And also there's the physical aspect as well, because we haven't really even seen them today. We've had them out for a bit of a stretch and a run on the grass because they're still recovering from Tuesday, but t tomorrow we'll bring them together. But then again, you've got to bear in mind that you can't take any more energy out of them because they've got again the next day. So there's a whole host of factors involved, but we'll, we'll be ready. No excuses. We'll be done there to try and fight for a valuable three points. Of course. And then just finally, are uh, Joel Mbongo and Ben Hockenhall any closer to starting? Joel was injured. He picked up a thigh strain. Ben Hockenhall still very much in development, still trying to develop him forward to uh, to be becoming that player that we think can go there and give us a good chance of winning games. That's a situation where we, everybody at the football club that we will look at all of them and we think that they'll give Tramir a good chance of winning on the Tuesday or the Saturday or the Wednesday as it is next week, then we'll pick them and play them. But those are the ones that are building towards that or we don't think for this game that they have the qualities necessary to play in this type of game and that type of shape in order to, for Trammy to give themselves a good chance of winning. So um, I hope that answers your, your question on that one, but that, that would go for them all.